my, my journey into space started from a very young age. I always, always loved space, always wanted to be an astronaut, and that kind of guided me where I directed my studies. So I grew up in Canada, and I was long in, for a long time inspired by Dr. Roberta Bondar, who was Canada's first female astronaut into space. So I knew she was a doctor and a neuro-ophthalmologist, so out of high school I chose to study neuroscience and then I applied to medical school as well. Um, but I loved space so much, so at the same time that I applied to medical school, I applied to the master's program at the International Space University. And I was lucky, I got into both programs and my medical school was very supportive. They said, you can defer your admission to medical school for one year, which enabled me to go to France to do the master's program. And that was the start of a whole new journey. So from there, I interned at the Crew Medical Support Office with the European Astronaut Center. That was through the European Space Agency. Uh, and then later on, I wrote a book chapter about space technologies that have benefited medicine. From there, later on in medical school, I interned with NASA at Johnson Space Center and I did a internship in aerospace medicine and so that laid the foundation that really proved to me that you can make space a part of your career. The mission with Project Possum is a, a lot that's happening in a very short period of time so the entire mission from start to end is only 20 minutes and in this period of time you're actually in a suborbital spacecraft that goes all the way up accelerates at such a rate that it's reaching the beyond space, so 103 kilometers, and then coming back down. And in this period of time, you have to be very focused because you need to know at what instrument needs to be deployed at what point in your mission. And keep in mind, you're doing this when you're in a spacesuit, so you're a little bit more confined. And then at the same time, you're dealing with the fact that you have accelerations of up to 4 to 6 Gs that you're dealing with, um, and that your uh, that you're achieving zero G at one point and all in, all in in the entire time you have to know when to turn on the camera take the high resolution video take a high atmospheric sample deploy your mass spectrometer um, so it's a very intense period of time and so it's really important to know the the mission parameters inside out